action. So we have these emergency drain out kits for all of our PD patients and you would use them if the patient is coding um, with the idea being that if the patient is full of fluids your compressions aren't as effective so we want to drain patients as soon as they start coding so that we can get that fluid out and because you guys are here when it happens sometimes like we hear it caged overhead we know where our patients are but if we're in the middle of doing samples and emerge or hooking somebody up in ICU, we can't get here right away. So you guys can go ahead and set the patient to drain. And at this point, we don't worry about infection or anything because that's the least of the patient's concern. We just want you to get them draining and then we'll deal with the rest afterwards. So they should have one of these at the bedside, which the patient does. In it, you have a drain bag, which is in a package. Mine isn't in a package. Mm -hmm. And you've got a couple of mini caps. You will probably not use this. This is for when we disconnect the patient after they're done draining, but the PD nurse will be down there probably by that point and we'll use that. And there's also a set of instruction cards, which I don't have in here, but it's got a couple pictures on it. Laura's gonna get an electronic copy that she'll send out to staff as well. So there's one of two scenarios. There's either the patient is capped off. So this is the transfer set that you'll find attached to the patient. Either the patient is capped off or the patient's attached to the machine. So if the patient's capped off, you want to make sure the twist clamp is closed. You're going to open up your um, drain bag. The twist clamp opens and closes. So this is it opened and this is it closed. So you can feel it click in place, you can hear it click in place. So I'm going to take the cap off here. I'm going to remove this and I'm going to connect it. Now there will be some providing that drips out from here and that's fine. Then I need to open the twist clamp to drain the patient. So it doesn't matter if you know if he's full or empty, you're just going to drain them anyways. This stays on the floor, it takes about 20 minutes to drain the patient. By that point, my PD nurse will be down here. If the patient is connected to the cycler machine and is receiving therapy, it'll look, it'll look like this. Won't be attached to the drain bag, but attached to the cycler machine. So you're going to press stop on the machine. If you don't press stop and you disconnect the patient, depending on where they are in treatment, the machine could be shooting fluid out. So you want to make sure that doesn't happen. So press stop. Then you're going to close the twist clamp. Disconnect the patient. Then you're going to get your drain bag that you're going to connect. And you're going to open the twist clamp. If I disconnect the patient and leave the twist clamp open, if there's fluid in them, it's gonna come shooting everywhere. So you always wanna make sure twist clamp is closed before you connect or disconnect anything. And then you drain. Pretty easy.